Hello, my name is Dr. Shambles and today we are going to do something different. Um, I understand right off the bat, I'm just going to say this. I understand that this video is probably not going to get many views, but the, the, the goal of this video is not to get views uh, or to kind of not even entertain. It's just going to be a discussion about two decks um, that I will probably be playing in OP08 uh, when their starter deck uh, get released. If you're new to the channel, I am pretty much a guy that plays Red Purple Law and since um, the rumors of the banning of Red Purple Law uh, are going around, I decided to kind of invest in, a, well, invest in one deck and then just have some fun decks around because I did have the, I am very fortunate enough to, to have, for example, uh, purple cards that you know, I will not put them on the side because I paid good money for them, so might as well try and make a, a deck with it. So this video uh, is just kind of a call for help. Uh, if there's anybody out there that understands and is maining uh, Katakuri or Purple Luffy, I would like your ideas in the comments, That that's really the goal of the video. Uh, if there are some people that are thinking about doing this deck, do not worry, I, I will give my thoughts here. Um, but yeah, so pretty much what, what you guys are seeing here is not even the decklist that I want to show. What I'm going to show is my two decklists that I somewhat uh, made. Uh, and then um, I'll just, I'm just going to talk about that and my thought process about it, uh, behind it as well. Uh, and um, then you guys can just tell me what you think and just give me some advice. That's really it. So in case you don't know, there's going to be coming starter decks uh, of old leaders uh, and what, two of them is Katakuri and uh, Purple Luffy. Because uh, Red Purple Law might be banned, as I said, I decided to just uh, grab some cards that are really cheap right now because they're off meta, like Katakuri. I I can't even believe that I'm saying I'm actually going to be playing Katakuri. Uh, OPO3 set me would never believe it. Uh, but I'm obviously I can't spend that much money on the, the strongest builds So I decided to look at the start deck look at what we have and what I could buy and I found I think I found a pretty good uh, Deck list. This is my somewhat deck list. I'll be going with category if law gets banned even if it doesn't get banned I just have the deck now. So yeah the keep in mind this is when opio weight drops with the starter decks so yeah we still don't have every single card of starter deck but we pretty much got the cards that uh, matter <laughs> so let me just explain the thought behind here um you guys are seeing here this katakuri this brulee and the seven mom as well yeah i think that's it yeah that's it so these are not the actual cards that are on the deck uh, on the scene there are no there there's still not the update of these new cards that we already saw the starter deck so this category is the new blocker category that got announced or leaked in the in discord uh, so prepare already know there we are going to have a good block blocker category this brulee is not a blocker brulee it could be she's actually a good card but it's the new 2k counter brulee that got announced i'm gonna try to upload images i'm sorry if they're not very good quality i don't know where youtubers find the good quality uh of the of cards leaked right off the bat like some of them just make news about these cards and upload a really beautiful image i just can't find it so i'm sorry and this seven mom is not a seven mom is the six mom got, that got leaked uh, and the rest that you guys are seeing, I already have. So I already have Onamis, I have Flampes Puddings, uh, Pearl Sparrow, 10 Big Mom, uh, Beige, Sanji, Gadatsu, and I have this uh, Flaming Dragon King. You guys can still leave me some ideas in the comments. Uh, I might have some cards. I have, for example, uh, Satori, if you guys, I really enjoy the, the Satori. Uh, and I have two Crackers, if you guys think it should go with this uh, budget build. So let me just explain the thought process. Uh, I unders Flampe is here because she's good for mirror matches uh, or at least matchups on yellow where people play 8 cost category. So they pretty much put a card um, that's 8 cost or less onto your life and then you can just play Flampe to add it from the top or bottom. So yeah, it's really nice on that. Um, and it's a, a searchable 2k counter which I'm gonna use. Um, so yeah, that's it. Pudding got it really cheap. She's a, she's the searcher. I don't know if we're gonna get a, a reprint on the starter. I bought her because we it got announced on the comments that we're already gonna have a pudding, and now I'm kind of regretting it because here's the thing: on starter decks, normally they don't repeat uh, 
characters. But because the, that starter deck is supposedly to have reprints, it could have the searcher pudding. I already have it. To be honest, it was two cents each copy. Who cares? <laughs> Next is Sparrow Sparrow, this was the one that I was holding off the most to buy. Uh, I was trying to see uh, if we got a pair of Sparrow announced, but obviously I was already expecting a Big Mom and a category as SR, so I just decided to buy them. They were pretty cheap as well. All of this was super cheap. Uh, it's insane how cheap it was. I think it's because category is not in the meta right now, so before it goes up in the meta, I'm just gonna get it. To be, and to be honest, I've been playing with him and he's doing super fine. So yeah, I just got Pear Sparrow. Um, he was somewhat expensive, but I actually got a good deal at the end when I was like, okay, I can't, I can't wait anymore. I'm just gonna have to, to buy them. It's, it's official. We're gonna have to have them. Uh, it's pretty staple, and I ended up finding a very good deal. So I was like, oh, nice. Uh, Ten dropping mom. I cannot believe this card was as cheap as it was. I was blown away when I re searched this card to see if I could have it, and as soon as I saw the price, I'm like, I'm gonna get four of these. This. Is a really nice price for what I got. Beige was not that expensive. Sanji was the one. I have four, but it was I bought two, a really good deal. Uh, and then I just was like, okay, I'm just gonna play with two. But then I saw another, not as good deal as the first two, but still very good, still very cheap. Uh, so I'm playing four. He's the best blocker, I believe, still for us. And he's searchable with pudding, so yeah. I already have the four Gadatsus, I already have the four Onamis. This category is the new blocker category. This Brulee, as I said, uh, is the new Brulee. Big Mom, I was trying to see if I could find a good deal for the Seven Mom. I understand that Seven Mom is better than the Six Mom, but uh, it's like, it's, she's too expensive. Like, she's more expensive than 10 drops. So I'm like, okay. I think uh, the Six Drop uh, Mom, the new Six Drop that's coming out, is good enough. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I I'm gonna explain the reason why I think this deck is very viable. But again, I'm asking for help here. This is the, the idea of the video. Two Thunderbolts. Uh, the two Thunderbolts are here for one reason only. They they can be good triggers and I'm not going to be playing the OP08 Nami. I believe that card is gonna be very expensive. Well, it's not that it's going to be very expensive, but on OP08, I already have the uh, pre-ordered the starter deck of Category and Luffy, and uh, pretty much on OP8 I'm just thinking about buying um, the Black Maria and Pudding for Law, making sure my favorite deck is on uh, at the very most powerful he could be, so if he gets banned I at least have fun uh, at maximum, so yeah. And I don't think I'm gonna get Nami, I don't think there's a need for Nami, I think th 2 Thunderbolts is fine if I see it on triggers, if not I could potentially use it, or um, I could discard it for an effect of a trigger, so yeah, it's fine. That's why there's two here. I could be playing Amarus. If I'm being really honest, I do have four Amarus. Uh, the reason they're not here is because I don't use them. The, I've been playing with this category uh, deck, and to be honest, uh, I took out the, the, the Amarus because they were just... They were not doing... I was not using them, I just got... I used the trigger from time to time. So yeah, I don't know, I just prefer Thunderbolt. Uh, if not, I could just take away Thunderbolt for Amaru, that's fine, but she's out, this event is also searchable with Pudding. So, in worst case scenario, I would just search this, you know, instead of Weaving, and then I would just, uh, just discard it for a trigger, so yeah. I have four of You're the One Who Should Disappear already. I got it for the Red Yellow Sabo. So yeah, really nice. I would like to go to 4. I am thinking about removing this event for just playing the 4th. This on the bottom of your life is really OP. And so yeah, I have 4, so I am thinking about playing 4. And last is the Flaming Dragon King. I am, I think, I don't know if playing 2, I understand that many people don't play this, some people do. I would like to play this, I think this is really good if you can uh, get away of... Um, of like a 7k swing, I think that's the best case scenario you could have, is on early to mid game, you, you they make a 7k swing on you and you just use this event. Getting 4k and looking at all your lives, I think that's the best case scenario. Uh, but I don't know if playing 2 is the way, I would like to at least play 1 and then maybe uh, you're the one who should disappear. Now let's get to the, uh, and I still have the, the Luffy to talk about, so I'm sorry if this video gets really long. Uh, so let's talk about these 3 cards. Uh, so the Brule is a pretty easy uh, upgrade. Everybody's going to be playing her. She's a really nice upgrade. She's 
her and the blocker category is probably the best upgrade category got out of that starter deck. Um, so yeah, that's why she's here. I don't really explain it. When it comes to the six mom, um, I think the re my reason behind her here is why I think she's actually more viable than people think is with this category, we can potentially be playing going first with category, getting that first aggression, that first swing, uh, and then maybe playing a, a Paris Sparrow, best case scenario. And yeah, even if Paris Sparrow gets removed by, for example, Red Purple Law, Red Purple Law needs to use um, resources, so it's not bad at all. And then when we go to the five, um, five Dawn, we can just play the new a blocker, which is a 5 cost you guys are seeing here for, but I already show you a print of his card. And he lets, he lets you give a uh, rested dawn to the category, but you need to reveal the top alive. I think it would be really nice if we didn't reveal the, the, the card. But again, we if we reveal... The problem is, let's imagine we play the blocker, we activate the effect and we reveal this. Obviously, when we attach, the, like that's the thing, that's the combo here. You, we attach the Rested Dawn onto the leader, swing with the leader, use the leader ability, and we put this onto the bottom life. This is very OP when you catch your opponent off guard, or badge as well. So like, if we reveal these two, it could be very bad. But for example, revealing Thunderbolt is not as bad, for example. Um, we could potentially just straight out reveal. Uh, attach the, the Katakuri and swing and look at the opponent's life. I think that would be really cool uh, Because they would have to walk into it sooner or later or they would have to do a lot to play around it So I wouldn't mind like if we uh, revealed Thunderbolt or Pero Sparrow um, So yeah, uh, I wouldn't mind those Now that I'm thinking I am missing a Kikunojo like, I have four Kikonojos, so if you guys think I could replace something here, maybe replace the Thunderbolt uh, with two Kikonojos. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Uh, who knows? Um, sorry. So, yeah, I think that's the play behind it. And so you can go first more with Katakuri, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to adapt my strategy into trying to go first more. Uh, going second was nice with Katakuri. Uh, we can still go, obviously, with this deck. But going second with this is, for example, when you were at the 8th dawn, you had the 7 cost big mom, you could attach one swing in category, search your triggers, and then just play the big mom. Uh, and we got super good value with the 7k swing and big mom. So yeah. Uh, but I think we could like go first better with this deck list. Um, uh, like the way it is right now, and that's what I'm going to try to do. That's why I'm playing. The, I'm going to be playing the six mom. Uh, discarding one card hurts really bad, but making your opponent discard two cards or a life is really nice. So I think she's very viable, and I think she's a perfect budget option for the seven mom. Let's go to the other deck. This one I'm going to say is not a competitive one. I did try to make category competitive because I, I straight out had the, the, the cheap buys. <laughs> so yeah, but this one is pretty much just for fun. This is the Luffy that I'm thinking about playing on OPO8. This is, this is not competitive, this is not over. By the way, this is not finished product, that's why I'm making this video again. I really, if there's some, some advice I need is for this Luffy. Uh, so I'm gonna try to make the straw hats work. Uh, I also am thinking about playing the um, the purple, the red purple Luffy here. I think maybe I'll go with that instead of the purple Luffy. I'm I just wanted to try it. Um, so yeah, so I already see here. This is not the this monkey D Luffy. It's the Luffy Taro that got uh, leaked. This uh, Sangoro is not this Sangoro. Is the Sangoro that got leaked. Uh, and this Zoro is not this Zoro, is the Searcher Zoro that got leaked. That's pretty much it, the rest is as you see it. Uh, so we are playing three of the Luffy Taro just to swarm our board and that's the strategy here. I am thinking about just straight out swarming our board with a lot of pressure and then just have... Um, just have a lot of resources into hand, like the new Sangoro 
and uh, wait, where is? Oh, I'm not playing the new Nami, but like Queen Sangoro is just to straight out add cards to hand to have resources and have a good, somewhat good body. Not only that, uh, Sangoro plays well with a Lufitaro. Um, this Robin is to ramp up. I am not going to be playing Bon Clay, guys. Bon Clay is super expensive. No way. I already have these Sanjis, so yeah. By the way, just FYI. I only have two. Only gonna have two. Not gonna buy two more. I have four Missile Sundays, so I'm gonna play only one. I think four is really bricky. Two could go to two. She is really good to ramp up and then just add resources to hand, which is the whole idea. I'm thinking about removing Pudding. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think of removing pudding here and just maybe play two of these Nami. This Nami also this not the Nami is the leaked Nami, but I've been using this one to replace. So the idea is to maybe play two or three. She could combo with the Luffy Taro. Again, we only have three. Maybe we could go to four. Um, I am gonna have to buy two because I only have one starter deck, and I'm gonna have to buy two of this Zoro. Uh, th other things that I'm thinking about buying if they're cheap again is the, this one is cheap I one friend of mine is gonna lend me uh, one rush Kaido and I'm gonna just gonna buy the second one and I'm thinking I'm thinking about buying this uh, Jinbei uh, the rest I have or gonna have which is the case of Black Maria and I'm thinking about buying two gum gum jet link jet cat link so yeah that's the the idea behind this deck profile is just straight out try to use my leader ability to ramp up as fast as we can uh, and then we have missile Sundays uh, I don't know and Zoro Juro to try and ramp up and then we start adding cards to the to hand um, with Sangoro and Queens and Namis this Captain Kid is just in case I have two I only have two by the way in case you guys are gonna talk about him I could go to two but I don't know, I, it feels very bricky and the idea is to swarm your um, your field and not so much make your, your leader stronger. But he's a good body if we see him, that's why I'm playing one. So yeah, I could play three Jinbeis, two Onamis and uh, I think the Searcher event is really good with the Searcher Zoro. But I don't know what I would play more to be honest, maybe no, four Nami is super bricky. Because the problem with the Straw Hats, it's because you need to be at 8 ton or more to get their effects, which is really bad. <laughs> so maybe I would go with uh, another Missile Sunday here. And maybe a Jinbei. Or no, actually, uh, just a fourth Lufitaro. There you go. I think this is the way. Just get four Lufitaro so we can get our combos off. Uh, because it's only on play. So yeah. Black Maria will pretty much keep our Dawn healthy. I think she's a staple in every purple deck, by the way. Um, also, once we play Kaido, we really want to play the Black Maria to just get our Dawn back. Onami, really weak body, but she could give us something good. Sengoro, really good combo. Searcher, Zoro, and uh, Luffy Taro will have extreme chemistry. So yeah, that's the idea. Uh, please tell me what you guys think about this strategy. Um, the only thing, like, again, if you guys have tips on Category and Purple Luffy, please just say everything you guys know and what you think about what I'm doing here. I, what I could, uh, what I'm doing here could be, like, straight out shit. And if it is, just call me out on it and tell me. I'm just trying to, I don't know. When it comes to Luffy, try to slow down on the flame if you guys think this is really shitty. This is just, like, for fun. I'm not gonna buy too many cards on this. I'm trying to use as many cards as I already have. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention. Blocker Law. Uh, the, the idea of the strategy, and that's why I'm thinking about playing 4 Blocker Law. Is straight out, because I want to ramp up. And then swarm my field, as well as keeping my um, enemy's hand in check. So I'm going to be making a lot of swings. But really slow swings, which is what I hate. And why? <laughs> because we need so much done to get our abilities off. But if, if we do get it, we just make a lot of pressure. And then this blocker law just starts coming off. But I'm thinking about going down. Should we go with a lot, uh, another Missile Sunday? We'll keep the blocker law for now. But yeah, that's the idea. At least I've been playing 3 on my Red Purple Law on OPO8. And I think 3 is better than 4. I think 4 can get bricky. 
but on this, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just we're just gonna play another missile Sunday. Feels break it, to be honest. Feels very. How many breaks we have? Four, four, eight, eight, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, fourteen, fourteen, and then eighteen. Okay, that's the norm in the red purple law. We do have Gum Gum Jetta Gatling to to kind of fix this. So yeah, and we have queens and we have onamis to try and um, to try and recycle the, the bricks. So yeah, that's not bad. I think this is the way to go. Uh, again, I'm not. I understand probably the best was to have four bond plays here. I'm not gonna buy the bond plays. I have the missile Sundays. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna play the missile Sundays. Sorry, it is what it is. By the way, just gonna call out here because I. I accidentally predicted, talking to my friend, I accidentally predicted that there were, the next uh, super rare on the category starter was going to be a category blocker that would let you look at your lives. I thought, you know what would be a good, <laughs> a good buff was to get that, and they gave me exactly that. So, <laughs> um, just to gonna call out, oh, sorry, just gonna try and call out because I could be um, wrong here. Um... There's, they're announced in the, the website that uh, Dofi and Luffy, Purple Luffy, is going to have promotional cards. I think the promotional card on Luffy is this exact Zoro that you guys are seeing. And on Dofi is going to be the Jinbei that used to be super expensive. Just just warning you. I'm going to try to predict it. But so yeah, tell me guys, uh, this is just for me trying to solve what, what it could be, you know. Um... But tell me guys what you guys think about this. This is looking actually better now. I don't know about this Missile Sundays. It feels really bricky. But yeah, I think we need Kaido to have at least some of uh, board removal. But I don't think the way of this Luffy is going to be board removal. It's just straight up trying to, try to um, accelerate the game. To the point that your opponent does not, pretty much like red purple law, but without rush and just much worse. <laughs> it's just purple law, but much much worse. Um, so yeah, like have some board removal with Kaido, and he gets rush, so that's nice. We have Maria to keep our Dawn healthy at all times, and yeah, the rest is pretty much by luck, and we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I would love, like it would be so perfect if they just straight out announced an Onigashima Island, but for the the straw hats so all of this is more viable but that would be really op on the red purple luffy if i don't play much uh, purple luffy i'm gonna try to play red purple luffy although i'm not gonna buy white beards out of the question but i think it's more viable um since i'm gonna be playing the this kid more and the kaido i think it's more viable the red purple luffy because we have nami and we can have this event i don't know i don't know we'll see so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, sorry that this video this video is not going to be uh, much edited. I'm just going to put uh, music on the background. Um, but yeah, uh, do tell me everything you guys can help me with uh, so I can start uh, learning Katakuri and uh, Purple Luffy. And Red Purple Luffy, by the way. Um, and in case people that are subscribed and like would prefer Red Purple Law content, me as well. But in case it gets banned, I want to make this transition not as sudden and more, you know, time by time. So I preferred uploading a video from time to time uh, about these leaders and researching these leaders just to document for me. And uh, if uh, Red Purple Law gets banned, then at least we are, we are starting to get used to the idea of not having Red Purple Law around and just trying to make these decks work. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Uh, consider liking and subscribing if you did enjoy this uh, little chill video and I'll see you all in the, in the next one. Goodbye.